Um, yeah, I'm Martin Spring, Professor of Operations Management in the Management Science Department at uh, Lancaster University Management School. And uh, well, it's, uh, it seems that we folk have s similar kinds of backgrounds. Um, I can um, uh, tell, you, tell you that uh, I worked in manufacturing as well for about 10 years, in, in mostly in big international firms. But I think my I can trace my uh, manufacturing roots a bit further back than that. Um, People of a certain age um, who have been around in the UK for a long time will perhaps remember the programme called Play School. Um, and I, I can remember when I was about three or four watching a section of the Play School programme where we were taken through a window into a into a, an interesting environment. And uh, uh, the environment that sticks in my mind is the one that was making um, model cars, uh, which I collected as well. So at that point, I was taken up by the idea of making things in factories. I live near a uh, manufacturing um, uh, plant where products uh, bearings, pollards bearings, in fact, RHP these days, um, was well, displayed in a cabinet in the window and I was transfixed by the, the shiny products and I can remember also cooking mince pies with my mum so um batch batch manufacturing I was doing that when I was about three um I think what cat what it all, all amounts to is some sort of fascination with doing difficult things and making making um attractive products um, and then I did an engineering degree and, and the engineering in me, if you like, uh, enjoys the technical side of manufacturing. Um, but I've been in um, management and organisation kind of research for uh, getting on for 30 years now. Um, and so I've perhaps gone native a bit um, and um, more interested in the social science and organisational aspects. Um, Another reason I like researching in manufacturing is, although I've been in academic uh, circles for a long time and uh, maybe I have gone native, much as I like working with academics, it's really refreshing uh, often to go and have a laugh with some people who are struggling with making things, because uh, there is a certain uh, um, world that those people inhabit that um, is, is full of uh, interest and humour, I think, which is important. Um, intellectually, um, I'm in a management science department, but I'm not one of those management scientists who's interested in calculating um, batch sizes or scheduling. And I think what, what manufacturing does for me is bring the material artifact, in, the, in this case with uh, Made Smarter, especially the digital uh, IT artifact, up against the organisational and the human. Uh, and, and that's the crux of, of what we're tackling here. And others have said it, it, it's not about the technology entirely. But um, but I think it is about the way those things interact in, in particular ways. And I think that's got implications for all the management disciplines, um, uh, obviously for operations management, supply chain, in, innovation, but also um, management accounting, skills, um, strategy, marketing, you name it. So I think there's something here for everyone within business and management and uh, and in the wider social sciences when it might um, uh, lead us into issues of psychology uh, and group dynamics. Um, and I won't dwell on this. We know we, we know that, that technology um, won't achieve anything on its own. I remember hearing uh, Jürgen May, I heard him on the radio this morning actually, but um, heard him three or four years ago, um, uh, Jürgen May Siemens, who, who led the Made Smarter Review, um, really emphasising that it isn't a technology problem, it's an adoption, it's adoption and adoption problem. Um, I run uh, at Lancaster Centre, cross-disciplinary centre uh, for productivity research, and I've been working quite a bit recently on a programme called um, Productivity Through People, which is a management development programme um, based on probably 20 plus years of research at Lancaster on um, leadership, entrepreneurship and, and management learning. Um, and it has a, a particular formula, a combination of elements. And um, in the productivity through people, we have uh, uh, an activity, an important part of the program, which is that firm, uh, small firm managers, um, typically operations managers and, and the like, go and visit large firms facilities. And so the research I did uh, fairly recently was about how those managers of SMEs 
um, make sense of and assimilate what they see when they go to, I don't know, a, a, a large Siemens facility or a, a BAE systems plant. Um, how, how do you make sense of that if you're in business um, making uh, jam or uh, um, in one case, um, uh, systems for defending um, uh, uh, fish farms against attack by seals? So this is what I love about manufacturing. You run into these kind of uh, cur curious activities. Um, and so uh, in that piece of research, I wanted to uh, did, did quite a lot of qualitative uh, interviews um, uh, and accompanied the, the managers on their visits and wanted to understand, as I said, how they assimilate what they saw and took it back or not to their own firms. And that took me into some very interesting areas of new new research for me, new, new theory, um, translation theory, uh, uh, conceptualizing middle managers. And I've been working with you know middle managers and working as a middle manager for 20 or 30 years uh, uh, and uh, now confront uh, and get involved with theory from general management and organization studies about middle managers and I think that's that's been been very uh, interesting and revealing and and aspects of Scandinavian institutionalism so I think that well old dogs can learn new tricks uh, it seems and and I think these are the kind of things that matter here so although we might start with the technological core of implementing digitalization in, in manufacturing firms there's something for everybody to to find an in, interesting perspective and and i think it will be more effective and interesting for academics and for, for everyone else if we uh, do work across disciplines and um i, I know that that's that's how these uh, kind of network plus uh, schemes tend to work and i think it's it's a powerful powerful vehicle